Today is the 10th of April 2024. Uh, today in Minecraft we're going to be continuing on with this roof and uh, getting discs and endermen at night time in the island over there. Um, I'm not sure how much Minecraft I'll be doing today because I feel so shit man. I just want to talk really. I mean I try and do a little bit but I can't even be fucking bothered to cook. Actually I can get the bricks now. I think we're out of bricks right. Yep, okay. So today started off alright actually, you know, I uh, had my doctor's appointment. Oh fuck, I don't remember if it's in the hot bar or if it's in the Oh we'll just do one block, see what happens. Alright, it is up here, okay. So if you watch more than one video you probably know what I'm already going to say. You know, if I've had a bad day, that means things haven't gone overwhelmingly well with this girl that I really, really like. Um, but I'll talk about that when it becomes relevant in order of my day. Um, so I woke up at about 8. Did some fucking stretches. I don't usually do stretches, but I felt particularly stiff, so... Did some stretches. Got ready, got on my bike, went to the doctor's for 20 to 9, got there bang on bang on time, and um, you know, I had the rest of my ears cleaned, I was a little bit worried that it was still going to be, oh fuck, I was still worried that it was going to be a little bit hard, because my, my earwax is very strong for some reason, um, but luckily, uh, we got the last bit out today because I actually had to book an extra appointment. I went the one time, mentioned it, that that lady looked in and said those are quite bad. Can't even see my eardrum. She said go and get these eardrops and come back after a while of taking these eardrops. So I did that and um, came back once after over a week of the eardrops. Still hard. Then. Um, Oh, my back's really hurting. Then I uh, had to go leave for a second week and come back a third time. And then we finally got the last bit out today, which was quite rewarding, quite satisfying. It's pretty gross, but <laughs> uh, at least it's finally out now. Wait, what, is that this? No. Can I rotate it? Oh, fuck it. Um, yeah, it was pretty gross, but yeah, it had to be done. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, shit. Right, well, at least I can just completely replace it now. So hold on, what did I use? Get a block there. Just already obviously got the items. Bang. Oh no, we lost a bit of paper. Uh, so yeah, cleaned the air, went home, did some work. Not an overwhelming amount of work, to be honest, but uh. I uh, put a call in, I, I looked at the rest of the uh, plots of land that I hadn't seen before, I didn't really, n none were worth going after unfortunately, the rest, I've, I've found all the good ones yesterday that I've been given, um, but I did call the lady that I couldn't get in touch with on Friday, and she was actually seemed kind of keen, she said that she was about to go onto a call, but she said please email me, and I did, and she responded to the email, which I'll respond to tomorrow. Um, then I started looking at some crypto, but uh, I think I went to get something to eat and then I started to game a little bit um, before leaving to the shops to go and see this girl, the girl, which is what I refer to her as until I find a fake name that I'm happy with. <laughs> um, this is where I sit to see the, that girl, my sister and her boyfriend, because we're all going travelling together. Um... I was quite looking forward to today. I thought it was going to be another chance for us to get closer again, but it did not work out that way. Um, I drove there. I was pretty on time. I think I was like five minutes late because I couldn't find a parking space. Got in, saw my sister and her boyfriend first. It was all fine. The girl was a little bit late, as she usually is, to be honest. Um, when she arrived, she, we just kind of... I mean, she like spudded my sister and I don't want to spud her because I feel like when you spud a girl 
you lean more to the water, like the friend zone area if you spud a girl. You know, that's how I feel. I've mentioned that before, and I'm, I think I'm going to stay by that hypothesis. Pretty sure uh, that's uh, an element of truth. You know, if I'm wrong, tell me, but it feels like it is. Right. Um, so she spudded this guy. I hesitated to spud her because as I said, I don't want to spud her. So she kind of just gave me a head nod, and I was like, that's not great. Um, then we kind of split up. I just stayed with my sister's boyfriend and we did some shopping. I hate shopping, to be honest. But, you know, we needed to do it for some travelling shit. And um, they split into their own group, so I didn't even get to see her. We eventually regrouped. And, uh, I mean, she laughed at a few things that I said, but she laughed at a lot of what other people said as well, so I wasn't really special. Um... I just feel like maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like she's heard something. Because she was acting different today. She's been acting different on text, you know. There's zero effort from her side uh, to keep conversation going. Why is this skeleton being such a cunt? Oh. Get on there. Is that a pressure plate gone? Why is this such a pain in the ass, man? Oh, come on. God. Thank you. Of course, the pressure plate's gone. Helmet's gone. That was a really good helmet, too. I should have kept it after that. Why is there so many skeletons, eh? So yeah, I mean, don't blow up. All in all, very bad start um, to the day, sort of. I mean, and then um, once we'd done our shopping in this one shop, uh, or when we'd, we'd browse a few... Sh Fuck off, man, there's so many. Just piss off, it's supposed to be fucking normal mode. Fuckers. Not today, man. Um... This is really testing me, man. This better be a fucking... This better be Ward. That'll make it up to me. So, um, yeah, at one point, I mean, this girl said she'd uh, done most of her shopping anyway. To be honest, this whole trip was a pointless idea, to be honest. But as I said, I mean, I'm not going to turn down a day seeing her, so um, I went on it, even though it was fucking completely pointless. Because um, we could just online shop. It's better to online shop, to be honest. But So, yeah, we came out and... Um, we were going to do one last shop at a different... Because we are in a shopping centre. And, um... We said that we uh, wanted, like, bags and shit from this other, like, camping store. Which was not in the shopping centre. You need to do, like, a five-minute drive for it. And the girl said that she'd already... Did I hit this guy already? Find out. No. She said she's, she's got that stuff already, so she didn't need it. But 
my sister suggested that, oh, if you want to come to the shop with us, I can drive her in my car. I mean, I thought, oh, I'm gonna find I can spend a little bit more time with her. Come on, how's he escaping? There you go. Um, but then she just said, no, I'm going to go home. So it was fucking massive fail today. And, you know, it's getting to the point now where I used to complain about mixed signals, but I fucking miss mi mixed signals now. Now I'm just getting no signals, and it's depressing as fuck, man. Um, I've not been a happy guy today at all. Not at all. Um, it's been really fucking, like, I've been really down. Just think, I, I, I should have just been up front with her before booking the tickets. I really don't know why I wasn't, and... You know, how I'm paying for it. And not only do I stand to, like, waste my own money, I stand to make it really weird for her as well. I make her feel really weird, which is just so bad. I should have just been up front with her before buying the tickets. Um, and I wasn't. That would have made this whole situation so much simpler. But just, yeah, I mean, as I said, this, the idea of this girl's rejection is actually unbearable to me. That's how much I like her. I like her so much. But... Yeah, today was a super bad day. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I feel like someone's told her something because she's been so different. The texts are completely dead. She makes no effort to, to, like, to return conversation. She doesn't start conversation anymore. She used to do that. Um, you know, it just feels crap. But tomorrow I'm working with her, so we'll see how that is. Hopefully a little bit better. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I can hope for. And we'll just continue... Uh, just being chill with her on holiday and see if anything happens, you know? Um, it's, yeah, it's really a shit situation. It's all my fault, you know? Uh, yeah, um... I think this is the worst I've ever felt about a girl before. You know, when I was younger, I was obviously upset a few times, but I think this is like this this is takes the cake. I mean, the good news is I haven't even got an answer yet, so it could all be like good news. <laughs> but it's just the waiting is probably worse than a, a no at the moment. If I get a no, at least I know to I can chill out. For fuck's sake. Um. And if I got a no, it would have made it like, oh, at least if I didn't go travelling and book all those fucking tickets, you know. Because e even if... Even if I get a no on travelling, then I, then it's just going to be awkward. And I mean, I, I can leave and go on my, do my own thing, which does actually appeal to me. But this girl agreed to go travelling with, obviously, these two people and me. She wanted me to go just so it wasn't her with another couple. And if I was just to leave, then it would be weird with her again. I, I know, like, this leaves her in a weird position. I, I get it. Um, but, yes, I've just been such an arsehole. I've just... Once again, like, whenever I'm... Can I get rid of this fucking arrow, man? Whenever I'm in a situation similar to... Oh, this is perfect. Similar to the time when I had that ear problem, I just made every single decision was the incorrect choice. Just done, kind of done the same thing here. The only silver lining is uh, that that one dude in the kitchen who's been like, I mean, the super ugly dude with a criminal record who can't drive, um, who for somehow was actually like hugging her at the end of work and stuff. And when I say hug, I mean like holding a hug for like a minute, two minutes. Basically lying on each other. Oh, fuck off. There's someone's testing me today, man. hardest episode ever. Just getting mediocre discs as well. Fuck's sake. Well, actually, these are actually alright. So these are some unique ones so far. 
Um, yeah, so apparently my, my, my sister's boyfriend told me they're no longer texting. I kind of got that feel as well when I saw those two look at each other in the restaurant. You know, they were kind of avoiding eye contact when they used to be all cheery with each other. You know, uh, I guess only time will tell. It's been it's taken far too long. I mean, obviously she actually was in a relationship when I first started having massive interest in her. So obviously, I can't fault myself for not going for it then. But I, I think I've probably waited a little too long. With I, in my head, I was saying, oh, just wait for her to recover from a relationship because, like a month after, she was still coming in with red eyes, um, and it was about her ex. So I was like, oh, I better wait, but you know, I think I've just caused myself more fucking aggro by waiting too long. But at the time, it felt like the right decision. It wasn't the right decision, I was just fucking cowarding out of being up front with her and risking rejection, but... Now I'm in this shit. But, um... Yeah, so... Oh man, I miss the mix, mix signals now. Now I'm just getting no signals, which... Wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't fucking booked a holiday with her. But I have. So this sucks. But I'm gonna go on the fucking holiday. I'm gonna be chill. And just maybe something will happen. That was the original... Well, it wasn't the original plan. But that's the plan like fucking... D. <laughs> After fucking... BC. <laughs> Obviously A didn't work. The, the one date we went on, I don't think she really saw as a date. Well, it wasn't really. It wasn't agreed as a date. But. Yeah, I mean, now we go on holiday and, you know, I tell her how I feel. And if it's not, it's going to be an awkward night. Then I'll just leave and let him get on with it. I don't know, do like a fucking MMA fight or something. But yeah, man. Not really feeling great. You know, this whole thing is really fucking with my mind. I mean, now it's it's more straightforward now, because I said I'm not getting mixed signals anymore, but I fucking kind of wish I was now. Because with mixed signals, it's a bittersweet thing, because you're like, oh my god, this could mean this. It could also not mean anything, but it could mean this, which is positive. Or, I mean, obviously there's situations too where you're like, oh, this could mean negative, but it also could be nothing. But now I'm just getting nothing. Um... Yeah. I mean, the only person to blame is myself here. I've really done it here. Um, See, so yeah, after I came back, we were literally only out shopping for like probably just over an hour. It wasn't really worth it. Well, actually, it only took 20 minutes to drive there, so I guess it was. Look at all my stuff here. About £120 worth of shit on the floor that I don't need. I don't want to go travelling. You know, what the fuck am I fucking doing? Um, yeah, um... When I got back, I took my dog for the walk because he's 15, he has a surgery tomorrow and I understand that comes with some risks. So, I just enjoyed a walk with him. Hopefully, I get to go on more in the future. Left my phone at home and... And that's uh, just so I can just be present with the walk. And, um... Yeah. The whole time I was walking, you can guess what I was thinking of. I wasn't really present, to be honest, even though I didn't have my fucking phone. I mean, I, I'm remembering this one time I was driving home and I felt a buzz in my pocket and I was like, I wish it was, I hope it was that girl. And I thought it probably isn't, but then it was. Oh, I don't need to listen to this shit right now. And it actually was. That was just last weekend. I felt amazing. And now, I mean, I can see that she's just online on, on WhatsApp. I just, that's why I was scrolling my phone. And, oh, guys, I just feel so crap. It's going to be really hard to mask this on holiday. But I'm going to have to try my best. I've done something so stupid, man.
I mean, this really has to work out, otherwise it's going to be really shitty for more than just me. I'm just going to ruin the vibe for everyone. Even, I mean, yeah, I just... I can't see a scenario where I go and I ask her out, she doesn't want to go out, and I, I stay with the group, you know? And I can't see a scenario where I go on holiday and I don't say something. It's just, I fucking hate this situation I'm in now. I mean, the idea of going out with her on, on, on holiday was such an amazing idea when I fir first heard of it, of course, because I, I thought I had more of a chance then, but now I'm, I've got no hints anymore, and it feels shit. It feels really slug. Oh, man. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. What have I fucking done? Um, so yeah, I came home, walked the dogs, had some food, um, fell asleep a little bit. I only had like four hours of sleep last night. Um, I watched that like physical 100, like that Korean show of these guys doing workouts. It pissed me off so much. The whole way it was fucking edited, it's just so it made everything dramatic that wasn't dramatic, and even left me on a cliffhanger at the end of the last episode, and I refused to watch it again. Um, and uh, yeah then I, I literally as I woke up on the couch when that episode finished I cleaned up my dishes it was time to go to training trains are fine played a game of chess on the way there I think I hung my queen and carried on fighting but ended up losing um, got to training training was actually quite good there was this other this random dude who I I hadn't recognised before, but he's an experienced competitor who's actually like a surprise visit teaching at the gym. Teaching a pretty cool like pass. I think I will add elements of it to my game. I was paired up with a super cool dude from Greece that I've been chatting to for a few like weeks now. He's a cool guy. I like his vibe. He works hard. He wakes up. He's got high goals and shit. I like it. Um... Oh. Um... Honestly, I don't even know like any words to describe. I, I feel like a mixture of an uh, really anxious and really sad. Like the thought of a negative scenario in this just makes me so sad. And the thought of that being a possibility makes me so anxious. <sighs> and I just wish I could turn it off from my mind, but I can't do that. Um, yeah, it's been a really fucking shit day. I mean, actually, it's been an all right day. You know, I've I've gone I've gone to the doctors. I've sorted my ear out. I've gone training, had a good training session. I've gone shopping to go on holiday with somebody that I really like. So when you write it down like that, it's a great. But I'm just really overthinking, and I, and there's a chance that she might not even fucking like me. It doesn't make any personally as a dude. It doesn't make any sense to me that if there was a girl that wanted to go out with me sometimes, just one-on-one, -on -one, and I didn't like her that way. The last thing on earth I would do is invite her on holiday, personally. And I think a lot of my my mates that are guys would say the same, not that I have any girl mates, because I don't really think that can happen without any ulterior motives. Um, obviously, work colleagues are different, and maybe there's a rare exception, uh, like friends, uh, spouses, etc., but it's just like, oh, it's still my fault. You know, she did kind of ask me to go, but I should have been more upfront. I'm really fucking kicking myself for not doing that now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I might talk. I mean, my, my sister's boyfriend asked me about her before she arrived today. And I just, I don't want to talk about it. It's going to make me sick. But the truth is, I do want to talk about it, but... It's not like the conversations can be productive. And I'll just get worry myself more. Uh, so anyway, went to training, had some good like rounds afterwards. It was a little bit busy, um, but still had some good rounds. My back, like my, the right hand side of my back is a little bit achy, but like a good pumpy ache, which is a bit weird. I don't remember using that part of my body excessively. Um, Came home, laid down with the dogs for ages, 
because my, my, my dog's going into an operation tomorrow. Hope he's all right. Um, and then came upstairs, showered. I didn't eat anything. I don't feel hungry. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and wrestle quite early. So, yeah. Oh, man. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, tomorrow we go to work with her. Maybe we unlock something there. You know, it's... Uh, I'm going to look at refunding tickets. Seeing if it's a possibility. Uh, if I can refund tickets, I'm going to be up front with her. If I can't, I'm going to... Um... Oh, but is that a good idea, though? Because... It... Oh... Fuck. I probably can't refund really anyway. But then when I got back, I showered, I looked at some crypto. Um, yesterday, a lot of the predictions that both the guys that I look for sources made were actually wrong. Which is concerning, and it also just reinforces that nobody actually knows what's going to happen. You can just make, I guess, estimated guesses and manage your risk. Um, estimate guesses, same thing. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's it, so that's really the day I feel like shit. Uh, I don't smoke weed, but I feel like I could do with some right now. I've never done it. Maybe I'm going to try it today. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it. Oh yeah, also I missed the fucking call. I had a random call from a number I don't know, so it's probably something to do with the letters I've been sending. And I missed it because I was in the shops and my phone was on silent. I literally didn't feel it. By the time I noticed it, it was out, out of work hours, so... It's not a good look, but I'll call them back tomorrow, and I just, yeah, I just really want it to work out with this girl. That's all I want, literally. But yeah, that's it. Fucking hell, guys, I can feel an emo phase coming along, a late emo phase. I'm 21. I didn't have an emo phase. I think it's going to come after this. If this doesn't work, I just... Fuck, man. That's it.